eye-popping numbers indeed. He's been absolutely dominant all season long. A low ERA at 1.32. Just get enough of it to foul off for another pitch. Groover goes chasing. And Trey Starnes is going to have his hands full. The junior lefty doesn't have overpowering stuff. Outside fastballs. It's like that. Chopper up the middle. Stopped by Furman. Can he throw him out? No chance. Alec Makarevic steps in there. Now he goes to third base and he makes it easily. Down in the dirt. Makarevic brings him home with a base hit to left. Lifts this one to right field. Groover over toward the line, makes the catch to retire the side. 0 2 to drag him. Got him fishing. Williams is fired up. 1 2 3 seconds. The Gators were out. South Alabama hammered them today. So 2 2 are here. And Starnes series. That's the most going. And base hit down the left field line. That's going to get to the corner. Cadell's on his horse and he heads to second and he'll end up standing up right there. Furman coming over behind Cadell at second base. Popped up to the right side. Battling that son. Seniors in the lineup for the 49ers. Full is again. Completely on that one, didn't he? From your buddies in the lineup before you get on deck. And yet. Aaron McKeithen down the line. So the nine hitter for Charlotte sends one down the third baseline and he has a stand up double. Into right field, base hit. McKeithen doesn't have great speed. He's gonna stop at third. A healthy hack on. Takes a hack at this one and Williams low and outside. hit one run comes across to score they'll try and plate two and they'll do it successfully Groover drives in two Charlotte takes the lead in the third up the middle will that get through nice play by Norby now he goes to third but McCabe gets back safely so they're loaded once again Furman up the middle, great piece of hitting by the freshman. One run scores, two coming across. Another two RBI base hit, and the Charlotte dugout is fired up. High in the air. Williams called off. Francisco makes the play. Roby squares the bump perfectly down the third baseline. He's got good speed and he'll score. Ball gets away at first base. Norby on his way to second. He could try and stretch it to third. He will. No throw and Norby slides into third base with a leadoff base hit. Last pitch, evening up the count at one apiece. Moreland pounds this one into the ground at first. He will score. He makes the most use of it he can, sending this one into right center for another base hit. He's two for two. Aggressive secondary leads. Deep to right center. Back goes Elwood on the track, and he makes the play. Senior, one of the few of those we'll see in this game. Young team, swing and a miss. 2-2 two -two to Johnson. He sends this up the middle. Nice play by Ryder Giles. He just couldn't transfer it into his throwing hand. And with Johnson's wheels, that would have been a tough play anyway. Two strikes here. Instead, just throws in the curve. and Got him on the outside corner. Starn strikes him out in a fist pump. Four innings for Starnes. Game of baseball in exceptional fashion. That's a heck of a pitch on the inside, too. Gruber thought it might be a little low, but 3-2 to Butcher. 
Adam Fool. Francisco chases after it. Starnes for the second inning in a row. Fired up as he leaves the mound. More food picks like they did at the start of the game. <laughs> Dying over here. Nice play at third by Agnos. Can he throw him out? He does. So the glove work behind Williams helping him out here. Sends this one to center. Elwood is there though. And a Another one, two, three inning for Starnes in Charlotte. In that same. That's hit to left field and hit well. Back to the wall goes Makarevich and it's gone. Base hit the center field for Johnson. That's two on the day. And may you get some fishing. The meet between two strikeout sandwiches here. Now he punches this one perfectly into right field. Ha okay, how do you beat the shift? Bridges shuts the door on this Charlotte rally. First with a leadoff walk. Over squares to put again inside. And now the umpire calls it dead. I wasn't sure at first blush whether that hit Hoover or not. I'm not even sure if home plate umpire Pat Riley is sure. Now he wants to see the mark on the hand, and once he sees it, he says, yeah, it hit Hoover, and you can take your base. To the right side. Going to make a play at first. McGowan covering. Got that runner to third with just one out. Barini with a base hit to left field. Hoover scores. So right off the bench, Barini comes in, first pitch swing, drives in a run. Takes some really good hacks at. Up the middle, but played really well, and stepping on the bag is Dragum to end the inning. Hoover's moved from right field to left field, right up the middle, and a base hit. All of this here in the next five minutes. <laughs> Cram. That could be two. The second for one over to first. ECU turns it here in the top of the eighth. See, I guess we look to punch something out to right field here. Outside, first and second with just one out. Now the go ahead run on base for the Pirates. Oh. To right field, base hit. Makarevich is going to score. Agnos is being held at third. Instead, he sends it into center field. Will it get down? It will. Pirates take the lead. They'll score two runs. Seth Cudell up to bat, and boy, lines went right to Groover. He'll double up Hoover at first base. From McKeithen. Did he lay off? No. Whole plate umpire. Pat Riley says McKeithen win. Just a tough, tough out. Gets him looking. What a pitch by Bridges. McCabe down the right side, fair ball. Francisco takes it himself, and the Pirates complete the comeback.